back with another video trying to figure out ways to cover up insecurities, at least my insecurities. So if you've been watching my videos for a little bit of time, you've noticed that I've never worn shorts until very, very recently. I finally have dared to bare my legs. I think I just got to the point in my life where one, it's just too hot in South Texas to care, and two, I've grown to be too old to really care too much about what other people are thinking about me. And I wanted to talk about a little bit why I was so insecure about wearing shorts and um, a new thing that I've been, well, new and old. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of history. So I have, this to me is a deep dark tan. Generally, I am one of the pastiest white people on the planet, which I have no problem with. My skin is my skin. But in shorts, especially my legs, Every imperfection is magnified times a thousand when it's against the whitest skin in the world that reflects sunlight back into the eyes of innocent bystanders. Every bruise, every scratch, every spider vein, and I have, after having given birth to two children, I definitely have my share of spider veins. Um, stubble, like I have dark leg hair, and even when I shave, within seconds, because my Skin is so white, my hair is so dark. You, it's never that perfect canvas of skin that my olive skin friends have. You always see the little dots on the legs. So there's just been, you know, it's my own hangups, whatever. And I've tried and continue to try all kinds of options. Um, fake tanning helps. Real tanning, I don't recommend, but it, it did help to some degree. But there's always those little things like the spider veins and stuff. And there's some drugstore options that I've talked about before and I still do use, but they do rub off on clothes and the shade matches aren't great. So when Dermstore reached out to me recently, which is a company that I shopped from before, and asked me to talk about Dermablend products, I was very excited to do so because I have a very long history with Dermablend that none of you know about. So when I first started getting into makeup in high school, I had seen a documentary um, talking about Patti LaBelle and what she used for her makeup. And she talked about getting a little pot of the pretty much solid concealer from Dermablend and she would use a lighter and heat it up and it would liquefy and she would take that and put it on her um, blemishes and that would completely cover them and it doesn't budge. It didn't budge. And guess what? I ran out, got a pot of that stuff, and used that for years. A little bit on my face, but mostly on my legs. That was the most I could afford as a high school was that little little pot of concealer. And I used that all through high school, college, into my early 20s, mid-20s. And then I just kind of forgot about it and stopped wearing shorts. So it really wasn't an issue. Well, Duraglend has come a long way since the 90s. And I want to talk about this product they sent. It's the Dermablend Leg and Body Cover. And it is a, it's really interesting because you can use it to cover large areas, like anywhere on your body. Your whole, you can use it almost like as fake pantyhose for your legs. Um, you can either, you know, darken your legs a little bit or um, give them a little bit of a glow or just match your actual skin tone. It's in a liquid squeezy tube, easy to dispense. It comes, I'd say a positive and a negative about the product is it comes in so many sh skin tones that it's hard to narrow down exactly which shade you are. Um, luckily, Derm Store has a very generous return policy in case you pick the wrong shade. And what I really like about this is it ha actually has an SPF 15. So you're not just covering up your imperfections, you're actually making sure that they don't darken or discolor further um, when it's out in the sun. So it's a three-step process, and I'm going to show you how I did it very quickly on my legs. And I will admit that in the interest of time, I didn't do the full uh, application weight set weight, and I'll talk about that. So first things first, apply, like I wouldn't recommend, don't put this on your face. I mean, I guess you could, but um, it's meant for um, legs and bodies. They have other products specifically for the face. This is pretty heavy duty stuff. It is guaranteed wear for at least 16 hours. It's not gonna come off just with water. This stuff doesn't budge, which is a real big plus for me because generally I wear this in the summer and in the summer I'm wearing lighter colored clothes and I don't want my makeup to rub off on my clothes. That would be really embarrassing. Okay, so first step is thoroughly clean the area that you're going to be applying the stuff to, dry it off, and then moisturize. Um, let that sink in, and then you can apply this using your fingers, using a brush, using a sponge. I prefer to use my fingers because um, because this is such heavy duty stuff and doesn't come off easily, I didn't want to get it on a brush and then maybe just have to go through the pain of washing the brush. 
sheer laziness. I think if you had a dedicated larger body brush, this would work out great. And I think, honestly, that using a fluffy brush would diffuse the line of demarcation even more than it does using your fingers. But I use my fingers, and a little bit goes a really long way. So you can, you know, really sheer it out and use it all over your legs. Or in my case, I really just wanted to cover up some spider veins that I had on my thigh in the area where my shorts just end. So it really, I feel like, is very attention getting. And so you just, I just kind of dabbed it to get a good layer of coverage and then sort of blended it, like rubbed it, like I'm DJing here, like um, along the edges just to diffuse it. Now the key is you're supposed to wait, I believe it's up to seven minutes to let it set. I did not do that, but you will see that even so, the coverage was really good, which is a very light amount and just going on to the next step. You let it dry. If you feel like the setting, that the coverage is not as much as you'd like, you can add. It's a, definitely a buildable thing. You just have to, should wait in between layers to let it dry. And here's the key part. Then you set using the setting powder. And this is the most bizarre puff that it comes with. This is the puff. I got, see, I didn't wait for it to dry. And I got, it's just your standard, it's very white. And you're supposed to put a copious amount, pretty much just cover it in white powder and let that set for a couple of minutes. Um, I think that's really more for if you're covering a small area like I did. I think if you're using it all over your legs, a gentle dusting should do it. Um, let that set and then brush off the excess and you are good to go. The coverage is beautiful, it's natural. You can still, you know, with one layer, you could definitely still see skin. It didn't look fake and opaque, but the spider veins that I were trying to cover off were certainly diminished. If I was really hardcore about it, I would have definitely added another layer, but I really just wanted to see how it works. And it works, it does not budge. It does not come off, it does not move until you use this. This is long wear makeup remover. It's very handy. I just squeezed it. The first time I tried it, I just squeezed it onto a pad and then dabbed it on. I recommend squirting it right on, you know, right on your fingers and rubbing it um, a generous amount onto the area that you want to remove and then wipe it off with a tissue or cotton pad or whatever. You don't have to rinse off. You can if you want to. I chose not to. I just think this is just another, these products together. Let me show you them all. And I used the shade medium, which was a little darker than I would have liked, but I sheared it out and it worked out just fine. So these three products, I think, is just good to have in your arsenal. Um, even if you feel great about your legs, this is a great way to fake wearing hose, and especially in the summer. Nobody wants to wear hose in the summer. I don't think people wear hose even in the winter anymore. So it's a great way to just make your legs look just that much better. You can definitely use it on your arms as well if you want to fake a little bit of tan, warm up your skin tone. I wish I had known about this years ago because I would have run out and bought this and been using this and been wearing shorts so much earlier in my life, but better late than never. So this is definitely always going to be in my um, bathroom, ready to use. I am very excited that I have it. I'm gonna leave all the details below about where you can buy it and how much it is and all that good stuff in the description box below. Please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Um, if I can, if I know the answer, I'll answer it. If I don't know the answer, I will try to find an answer for you. Um, Thank you as always for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I wanted to pop on here really quickly and tell you about not one, but two opportunities to meet me in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about this. 